Welcome everybody back to Red Dead Redemption 2 Guides, and today we're going to be doing a guide over the rock carvings. The rock carving is actually a strange mission that will actually lead you to the time traveler easter egg. So here on the screen you see the order that I'm going to do it in. I'm going to start from the far right. You don't have to do it in this order, you can do it in any order you want. So this is the first one I'm doing right here, and I zoomed in and zoomed out. So you're going to want to like fall down this little rock path, you don't have to be exactly right there. I think you actually want to be more to the, my right, and I'm kind of looking around for it, kind of confused here. So, it's going to be over here inside the side of the rock right there. All you got to do is press triangle. I think I look up here, yeah. So that's where you want to be up there where my horse is. And my temporary horse, actually. And then, yeah, just hit triangle, and then that's my very first one I got. So yeah, just kind of fall down from the top there, and you'll land right about here, hopefully. And he's got to walk until you see that. Now... The second one is actually pretty easy to get. Here it is on the map right there. It's right next to a legendary fish that I actually did not know it was there. There's also a lot of Easter eggs. I found a gold nugget around here and some two people dead in a canoe. This one's actually pretty simple. I actually don't see it on the side here, but it allowed me to do it. It might be that little pile there to the right on the screen right there, that little brownish pile. But there's a second one right next to this lake. And the third one here is I like to kind of sync them up so that it's right below Moonstone Pond here. Okay, so this one, I actually may have screwed up. I'm not sure if you really got to get off your horse here or not, but I did just to make sure I didn't lose a horse. So I ran all the way over here. All the way. And yeah, so you, you can probably, there's a path to the right of this. You can probably just kind of go on the path and just kind of go off the path. I didn't know that. I was kind of following the, uh, the map. It's going to be around this little triangle mountain, I guess, in the land here. You're going to jump down here. Boom. And would you look at that? There it is. You see a pyramid. And you're going to go ahead and inspect that. You're going to get some dead eye for it, apparently. I don't know if that was a coincidence or what the deal with that was. Okay, so. The next one is going to be right by the fort, Fort Wallace. Now, this one is actually kind of weird. So... Be careful, because I actually died uh, once going up this. So you're, there's going to be like this little pathway up to the top here. Now you're going to want to get all the way to the very top, where that horse is. Because like I said, I died earlier because I fell off the side. Yeah, I got two horses right now. So once you get to the top, you're going to get off your horse. Now you're going to go down the mountain to face the direction I'm going, the, uh, you know, through that's east. So there's going to be a dinosaur bone here on your right. Pick it up if you want. Not really important if you do. I'm going to do a guide on those later, which is why I didn't pick it up in there. So you're going to go down to the left from the dinosaur bone, down this little pathway. Be careful. You don't want to slip and fall like I did the first time. And let's continue down. You're going to go down to this little fork here, and it's going to be right there. It's that angel in the wall. Walk up to it. Hit triangle. And you got yourself another challenge or rock carving stranger mission uh completion collection i guess completed whatever so the next one this one's actually pretty easy it's on uh kind of off the main road here you just got to get past this bridge and it's right by there this one's actually really simple you can actually see it from here you just got to go across the bridge get off your horse walk right next to the bank here kind of by the bank sort of by the bank and this one's just really simple be on our left here there it is you can see it. it's kind of up there it's kind of that half man thing i guess i jumped up on that rock to get it <laughs> okay so this next one is actually kind of tricky to get to i'm going to show you where it is here in a minute so i'm a little bit off the path here there it is it's kind of right there right next to cumberland cumberland forest right directly north of valentine so it's gonna be this little path here on top of this little mountainside uh might want to fall down a little more gracefully than that, but my Arthur did it. And just, I'm just going to follow this path there. It's going to be... It's past this little corner here, up right there. There it is, like the future city thing there. Let's go ahead and inspect that. And you'll be off to your next one. And I believe we are about halfway done. I don't know, I didn't look at the things there. So next one's going to be about... It's going to be at... Mount Hagen, kind of right next to that uh, frozen dude you can get your helmet off of. I'm going to have a guy for that someday. This one's pretty simple. It's right on the path. I tried to go to first person. I want to see what Arthur did to the note, but there it is. Okay, so we have three more left to go. 
I'm gonna get on my horse here. I don't know why I was running away. So this one's right by this lake, Orjira Lake. Just to the left of Strawberry, just to the, uh, I guess, to the west of Strawberry. So it's just on this bank here. You see it right there. I kind of glitched out when I came off my horse, but don't worry about that. Right there inside the rock face. This one's gonna be kind of weird because the path will lead you on the other side of that pond. Just make sure you get to uh, where you need to be. It's on the west side of the pond, not the east. The path led me to the east. So this one is kind of up in the mound area of West Elizabeth, kind of right on the T. It's right next to that giant, bo uh, giant bones. And fun fact about this one, the tomahawk challenge for the weapon expert where you got to kill prey or whatever. There is a bunch of eagles on your way up there, and you can throw your tomahawk tomahawks at them. I actually screwed up and missed them all, but that's a good place to do that in. I will show you guys that sometime with challenges. I plan on doing a challenges guide as well. And for the last one here, you probably didn't need to follow this pathway like I did, uh, or get off your horse, because obviously my horses are following me <laughs> to where I needed to get to. But there it is. The last rock carving that I need to get to is like this wagon thing. And that is it for the carvings. I don't want to spoil what happens with the Stranger Mission, but it is a time travel Easter egg if you guys really care that much. Once you're done, just mail every single one of those notes that Arthur had drawn on, and you'll be done. You will have to go back to the post office two or three times, I think, because it's broken down. Like, you five, you get one, seven, you get one, and ten, you get the whole thing. Nonetheless, you're done with it. You got it. Thank you all for watching. Come back later. See ya.